Happy Friday, friends. It's Jess here. I am kicking us off on our Power Sheets prep day to walk you through my prep work. So, glad you're here. Your Power Sheets have gotten a little beaten up by carrying them in your purse back and forth. I have a tip for you. Scotch tape. I've just taken a piece of tape and kind of reinforced the corners. This is kind of hard to do when you're filming, but makes them a little bit stronger for you. And don't worry, we have made changes to the 2017 power sheets to make them a little bit more durable for you. My mom's birthday is actually this weekend and I'm going home to celebrate with her, so I am going to write my note of gratitude for her. Does anybody else feel like we just did this at the beginning of the summer? It's crazy how quickly time is going by. You will probably see under the what I'm grateful for section when we do our power sheets, our team on everyone's power sheets. If you watched Laura's Facebook Live from last week, you probably heard us talk about how this last year has been really hard and refining as a team. I love our team and I love watching them pour their hearts into what we do every single day and it makes me excited to finish the year and celebrate with them. One of the things on my what didn't work column is being out of town so often. I have been out of town for I think the past 10 weekends. So my goal for the next few months is to really say no to certain things even if they sound fun so that I can be home more often. Lessons I learned, less is more, both in work and my personal life. I am embracing the right now, and my word for the next three months is rooted, which I am really excited about. I'm looking back at my goals, and I'm going to keep them the same, do a little bit of tweaking, so I'm going to go ahead and write those out and take a picture so I can show you all. I will never get tired of these happy stripes on all of the tab dividers and the power sheets. I've told y'all every month we've done this that the doodle section stresses me out, so I'm giving myself permission to skip it this month and not try to fill it up. Okay, I've told y'all that as the month is going through, if I think of a goal that I want to use for the next month, I put it in the let it go section, so I'll show you what I have. This next month, I want to make the most important things and nothing more happen. We've been talking a lot about streamlining at work and I've been thinking about it personally too and a way that I'm gonna do that is saying no to travel that isn't necessary. I'm out of stickers in the back of my Power Sheets workbook so I will sticker my October tending list next week when I'm back in the office. Here's a tip for your monthly goals. Be sure to incorporate some fun things you have planned too. For me, it's the Adele concert and the North Carolina State Fair. Another thing I did differently is I moved no shopping from a weekly goal like last month to a daily goal because I found it's a lot easier to keep track of it this way. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to share your Power Sheets prep using the hashtag Power Sheets so that our team can find you and cheer you on and see what you have planned this week. Save the date for November 1st when our 2017 Power Sheets go on sale. We have worked so hard on them and we can't wait to get them in your hands. Good morning friends, Amber Housley here and I'm gonna get started on my Power Sheets this morning, but I'm gonna show you how I get my desk ready. Feeling that I really like it just is great background music to get things done. So I was really excited to do my power sheets this morning because I just felt really confident that September was a very fulfilling month. Now granted, not everything was checked off on my monthly or weekly or daily goals, but it was a lot of great progress. And that's what I care about. So this was a fun surprise I didn't know was there and I was excited to write a letter of gratitude to my husband for all that he does for us. Like Jess said, I was not ready for another refresh. I can't believe it's already time to do this, but let's do it.
and my annual goals, I think I'm just getting more clear and direct in the language as I word them. I think these all right here are my most favorite things to start to brainstorm for the month, and I usually can't wait to fill this part out. So I'm having a hard time coming up with ideas on how to love others because I have lots of ideas, but I'm just going to leave it blank for now and come back to it next week. Can I just say I'm loving all the orange? <laughs> so friends, I'm just about done with my October Power Sheets prep. I need to find an encouraging statement and maybe add another goal that I have on my mind. But one of my September goals was really showing my seven-year-old how much I care and love him. So I'm off to his school right now to read to his class. So we're keeping it real here today, guys. I just put my little one down for a nap, jumped in the shower, and I have about five minutes to do my power sheets. I want to encourage you, if you are in a busy season of life and feel like you don't have time to do this, Five minutes is all you need throughout the day. A couple five minute blocks of time throughout the day really add up. So don't feel like you need to block off an hour to do this. I write my husband a little note. over the next three months. Anyone else? Hi, I'm about to do my October power sheets and I'm reviewing September 1st and you can see that my September power sheets, I got a little creative, meaning I spilled water on them. Every season in the power sheets, there is a goal refresh because goals change and priorities change and so I'm excited about this one. This is so helpful, reviewing what didn't work, what did work, what I'm grateful for, and lessons I learned. It gives me such clarity to move forward. Here's my list of what I'm saying yes to and no to. And I feel pretty, guys, this hair. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I started this process, what, 10 minutes ago? And I feel so much peace now knowing what I'm saying no to. I'm saying no to being overextended. I'm saying no to not trusting in God's plan for power sheet season. The power sheet season is a lot of risk for us. It's like putting a child out there into the world that we have worked on for so long and so hard. So it makes me a little nervous. But one way that I take that worry and turn it into faith is thinking about the potential positive, powerful effect that they hopefully will have on people's lives. And that is a risk worth taking. I think about even writing my book, I kept thinking if I could just change one person's life, it would be worth it. So this is a risk worth taking. I'm saying yes to slow, mess-filled, simple, sweet, and saying it. I'm saying yes to praying for all the things, not just in times when I'm in need, but praying for wisdom even in the seemingly small things. I've been working on making our house into more of a life-giving home, a place of belonging and becoming, like Sally Clarkson's book, and um, my word is life-giving. If you get stuck, here are two tips. Number one, look at your calendar. There might be things on there that you want to transfer to your goals. And number two, number two is to look back through everything you've written and look for themes. Circle things that really stand out to you.
There are 10 slots for you to write refreshed goals, but you don't have to use all of them. There are no rules. I just have six, and I may add to this as I go on. I hear it, Gracie. Who's that? You ready? <laughs> Woohoo! And now the fun part, stickers. I've used most of my stickers. A few more left. <laughs> 